Good morning, everybody. So today it is 5.37 a.m. and the weather today is gonna be at 66. I'm about to turn off my alarms that I am not going to use, get myself together, get my hygiene going on this morning, and you all get to see a day in a life of me as a stepmother and I, my routine is pretty much the same i'm going to brush my teeth wash my face moisturize my skin put on my eye patches the normal the usual get myself together before i wake children up so um, this morning, I only have my stepson. My son is away at his grandparents' house. So I'm gonna make sure, you know, I'm prepped and ready to go before I wake him up. Cause once I get him up, it's going to strictly be getting him ready for school and preparing him something to eat. And we got to get out this house. So <laughs> I'm gonna, you know, continue along with my morning routine because mama has to be right before we leave the house okay we cannot walk out the house with bags under the eyes or just looking tired and beat down <laughs> but um i would say the difference between the two of getting my day started as a stepmom is the initial wake up because I don't have him all the time in my house. So I'm pretty sure he he does it a different way with his with his mother. But we're gonna get him dressed. He wears uniform at school. He is still asleep, y'all. Like it's early. He is still eyes closed, okay? So we try not to struggle here <laughs> and just put his clothes on and get him ready for his skincare and his hygiene. Get his teeth washed, brushed and face washed. You know, the typical, the usual. And he is so tired, real tired. We had a long weekend actually. But um, he's getting really used to, you know, me helping out in the morning. So my husband actually needed my help and my assistance on getting him to school this morning. Um, usually, I will get him on a Friday and my husband will bring him back on the Monday when we have him for the weekends. But he brushes his teeth really good. No complaints. You know, he don't cry about it at four years old, going on five. So dental hygiene is on A1. I'm really proud of him. Um, dealing with this process... Um, it doesn't take too long. I'd say we're at about six o'clock, six, about six o'clock, six fifteen. So we're making good time and good progress. I'm just gonna tidy up so I can give him some vitamins. The same thing I would do with my son. I do do try to do with him. Um, give him his vitamins, and then after that, prepare breakfast for him. Something quick, light, healthy to eat and we get our day started. And uh, this morning, we're just gonna do some oatmeal and some fruit. He chose banana. I was going to cut up some strawberries, but he wanted bananas instead, so I didn't argue with him. Baby, you can have your oatmeal and your bananas. Just make sure we ain't wasting none of it, <laughs> and I'm cool. So, you know, I was feeling the vibe, and I went on and made me some oatmeal as well. Um, easy to clean up too y'all so I wasn't you know I was like okay this is what we eating I let him choose just like um if Jalen was home I would let him choose also now for me every given morning we're gonna hop into a devotional we're gonna read some scripture I don't care who's at my house if I gotta be a mom stepmom auntie friend babysitter whoever I'm going to get my time in with the Lord regardless because he comes first in my life, first and foremost, okay? But um, while I'm doing this, he's still eating his breakfast. Um, I'll let him say grace. Um, he is quite fond of it. You can't leave him out. If you try to say it, he still wants to go behind you and say it. So I just let him go ahead and say it. And 
thank you for saying it. That's cool. Cool in my book, you know. So I'm gonna start my day off, get my mind right, get my heart together, get my thoughts together. And I had to change clothes also, if you notice that. Uh, because I'm also going to go work out <laughs> after I take care of him. And as I finish this up and meditate on the word and um, show my thanks to the Lord of how he started my day off, we're on time. It is not quite 6.30 yet, so I think I got about 10 more minutes and I'm going to wash the dishes, clean up before I leave the house because it will be a minute before I get back home. So clean out these little bowls. It's not much to clean. So I really hope y'all tend to y'all dishes and not leave them in the sink before you leave the house, even this early in the morning, because when I say I won't be home till later on in the afternoon, and I know my husband is not gonna do it. I'm letting him rest in the morning because my schedule was a little lighter around this time of the morning and he would have had to rush through his day and i wanted him to be able to um enjoy some good rest and i have to deal with atlanta's traffic because it really doesn't matter what angle you're coming from there's so much traffic here especially at this time in the morning and he needed to go get some you know get some work done so i want him to get a couple extra hours in so he can start his day off right and not stressed out not overwhelmed not over you know you know just overworked and overdone because i have to deal with his masculinity at the end of the day so i want him to you know be at his best and start his day off right so i pitched in and helped him out um, and as a wife, I find that to be very important to also help. It is something I offered to do, not something I was forced to do. I'm not forced to love my stepson or care for my stepson. I actually want to. So me volunteering, just the icing on the cake. So I get myself ready for the gym. So that's something I'm doing for me and i make sure I, I find time for it so i just clocked myself out it is 6 30. we are about to walk out the door and get into this car okay now y'all i don't have the the mounts and all that extra stuff for my phone in the car so this is the best i could do <laughs> but i'm gonna strap him in get him in the seat belt um, yes, we're using booster in my car because uh, that other car has an actual car seat, but I'm using a booster, so it's okay. He's strapped in, he is safe, and I'm going to get in, and we're going to be on our way. We are at his school, and he is knocked out in the back seat. <laughs> knocked out. Still tired, still sleepy, but I think we did good this morning. I think we, we did a good job. And little baby boy, he is always a hit or a miss. I be trying to show y'all. He be saying hello and kicking a little bit. But there we go. Look. Ah, hello. 